on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another mutt 20 video in today's video we're going to be going over the journey master 88 overall michael thomas he's complete we got him he's on the squad i'm going to show you guys that card in a moment with all the stats give you a team update and uh let's just go ahead and talk about the journey solos when do you unlock them uh everything about them okay so you get them at level 25 last year i believe it was level 30 when you unlocked them and last year it was 173 solo challenges to earn a 90 overall carson win so this year uh, a lot different with the new star system um and i so i gotta i just want to talk about it right so if, if you go to play and you go to challenges of course like i said level 25 you're going to unlock the journey uh and here it is now it says nfl 100 part one a little a couple things you need to know about the journey um you need 125 stars to unlock michael thomas there are additional rewards of, but beyond that that you can earn depending on how many stars you get and this is another beauty of the star ranking system is that you don't have to play every solo on every single the hardest difficulty and get all of the bonus objectives to get the main reward but if you want to go above and beyond that you're going to get yourself a tier 8 and a tier 9 reward in my opinion this tier 9 reward gives you the gold premium player pack which isn't that exciting but it also gives you this journey one completion token and what does that say to me that says that more than likely you're going to get something for completing every journey and getting these tokens so say you get like three or four of these tokens throughout the year they're going to drop multiple journeys i mean this one says part one so we know we're getting more um if you get multiple tokens they may have a really good really good reward whether it's another player or coins or something they're probably going to reward us very well for completing these getting all these journey tokens so to me you know getting all the stars on the journeys is probably going to be something i'm going to do i'm not going to do this right now because I, I just wanted to grind and get the player that i got but i think i may go revisit the rest of these solos and, and get the rest of these stars so uh we got the, the journey master michael thomas i'm a i got beef with this tier 8 reward it's a lot of work to get all the way to where we are right now the tier 8 reward giving you 80 training 80 80 is not a lot, and, and I'm, I'm kind of disappointed there. Uh, I would have loved to see like 250 to 500, somewhere around there would have been uh, more beneficial. But uh, so this is the way that I attack these, right? You get three of these, three sections open up for Journey Part 1. And, you know, you start them, and they're pretty easy to begin. But then as you go on, not really the difficulty, but the length of time that it takes to complete them starts to increase and you know i got right to this point you can see the first couple i got all four stars then i started to not get the stars but we got to this point and they just start putting you in these second quarter situations five minute quarters it was quite annoying and i'm saying to myself all night like these solos are way too long but i'm going to tell you why i think i'm wrong about that um so anyway i knocked out and i got to this point and i'm like all right the rest of these are probably going to be lengthy so i just moved on to the second section and i did the same thing uh whoops pressed the wrong button there i did the same thing in the second section i just played like the first 10 and then when they started to get a little bit more lengthy they start put look at this one they put you in the first quarter and it, not only do they put you like in the first second quarter like i said it's like five minute quarters so that that gets annoying so then when i got like halfway down that list i'm like all right let's move on to number three number three had some really easy ones the, these ones were like there were a couple where it's just like score a touchdown and get 40 yards passing um so this is how we finished it we we knocked out like half of the last section so though it's journey part one there's three sections to it and you don't have to play them in a row um you can go to the third one first you can play the second one first it's your choice and that's the beauty of the star system so the solos as i'm playing the solos and i do got to shout out everybody that came through the live stream last night and uh just hung out with me because I, I i would say because this is going to be a question i'm going to get i would say it took six to eight hours to get uh, no yeah no i'm sorry six hours because i streamed for about four hours and i played journey through the whole stream uh and i played for about two hours before streaming so i would say about six hours to complete the michael thomas um I was really like just getting frustrated like i gotta talk to ea i gotta tell them these solos are taking way too long this is ridiculous 
But then I thought about the fact that I literally earned an 88 Michael Thomas in six hours. Whereas last year, and I know the overall is higher, last year we had 173 solos to get a 90 Carson Wentz. I'm sure that getting that that those those 173 solos took probably three days. And that was three days of heavy grinding because I was in grind mode then just like I am now. So it's going to feel like these solos are incredibly long, but don't get discouraged. Um, you're going to be ranking up while you do it. And trust me, compared to the beginning journey last year to getting this journey reward, it doesn't time consumed. It doesn't even compare um, this year. You get done way, way quicker. And uh, that was something that I kind of realized as I was doing it. Um, so here's the squad. Here's the, the offense is still pretty trash, but we're getting there. We got our new number one wide receiver. Here he is, Michael Thomas. Uh, show you his stats. A little bit slow, not going to lie. 82 speed, not it. But uh, 89 catch, 88 catch in traffic, 87 spectacular catch. His route runnings are really good. And I think this year is going to cater to players like this who aren't really the fastest, uh, but their other skill sets like route running and catching are going to be showcased. So I haven't played any online games. I've been saying this for two nights. I plan on playing some tonight, um, but here he is. And then to the right, you can see I got Torrey Holt up to an 81. Um, we dropped a video on how to level up Torrey Holt. A lot of people had questions in the stream last night about that. So um, go watch that video if, if you need help with that. Uh, you, get, you get it starting at 13 and then it's every five levels. So um, level 33 will be our next chance to level him up and i think we get him to an 84 instead of an 83 i'm probably wrong there but maybe i'm right uh the tory holt card's pretty good except for he drops some random passes every once in a while i guess when you have 76 catching maybe that's to be expected um but the speed is is very helpful with that 85 speed so there's my offense uh we need a running back pretty bad pretty bad giovanni bernard is holding it down for the solos but if i'm gonna be playing online i need to get a better running back um, Baker Mayfield, he's still there. But that's the offense. The defense is much, much better, um, in my opinion, for what I have compared to the offense. We got Marshawn Lattimore here. Uh, we dropped a video last night. The very We dropped four videos last night. It was the fourth video ranking all of the ultimate trainers. I went with Marshawn Lattimore. We got Darius Slay on the other side, though I'm probably going to sell him, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Deacon Jones on our defensive line. We got Captain Ryan Chazier. We need more training so we can power him up a little bit more. I want to get him to 90 like really fast. Uh, so he's going to be one of the best cards on the team along with Torrey Holt when we get him to a 90. So there is the squad. Um, next, my, my next task is to start knocking out some of these theme builder. I think they're called theme builder. Theme builder solos. There's a lot of questions about them. What do you get rewarded? Do you have to play them on all stars? I'm going to be answering that for you in another video either tonight or tomorrow. Because I think I do have the answers on that. Um, but we're going to go after Darius Slay first. Because I have this card, I want to power him up. That card looks really, really good. I think my, my plan of action is Darius Slay, probably Brandon Graham after that. And then I'm open to suggestions. Maybe I'm going to go after George Kittle. Um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure. But uh, that's all I got for this video. Plenty more to come. We're probably going to do, we might not do four videos again today. But two to three, two to three, you can expect it. Thank you guys so much for watching. By the way, let me just tell you real quick. Last night we did stream and we gave out four codes. Two on Xbox, two on PS4, full game codes, full retail standard edition. I got more codes to give out. We're streaming at 6 p.m. Eastern tonight. You better be there. The Twitch name's on your screen right now. Go follow, turn notifications on so you can see when I go live. If you want to win a Madden 20 game code, you might get one for me. Thank you guys so much. And, 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 EA came in my chat with dropping codes too. So I was giving out codes. EA came in there, dropped about 10 codes in the chat. Bunch of people won. They said they're going to be back all weekend. So you want to be there. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.